In this video, I'm going to find the general solution of the ODE y prime prime plus 4y is equal to sine of 2x. So given that equation there, we see that it's a second order non-homogeneous ODE. To solve uh, this equation here, we first have to solve the corresponding homogeneous ODE. The corresponding homogeneous ODE is y prime prime plus 4y is equal to 0. So we have uh, that uh, second order ODE. We see that that's a second order ODE with constant coefficients. It is of the form a2y prime prime plus a1y prime plus a0y is equal to 0. So if we compare these two equations here, we see that our a2 is a 1, a1 is a 0, a0 is equal to 4. To find uh, the general solution of an equation of, of this form, what we have to do is we have to find the auxiliary equation first. The auxiliary equation is given by a2 m squared plus a1 m plus a0 is equal to 0. Substitute these values of a2, a1 and a0 we have. Then we'll have our auxiliary equation is m squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Go on and solve for m. Put the 4 on the right hand side there and we have m squared is equal to minus 4. Take square roots on both sides. Then we have m is equal to plus or minus 2i. So what we are having there is the auxiliary equation is complex conjugate roots. When we have complex conjugate roots, which are of the form m is equal to a plus or minus ib, the general solution is given by exponent of ax multiplied by c1 sine of bx plus c2 or sine of bx. So if we are to compare this m that we are having here, compare it with this one there, we see that our a is a 0 b is a 2. Substitute these values of a and b into this equation here. We would have that our solution there is c1 sine of 2x plus c2 cosine of 2x. Now this is so just because when you have exponent of 0 there, it gives us a 1. So we just remain with what is in the brackets there. So what we are having there is for this second order ODE with constant coefficients. Its solution is this one here. And this solution is the one that we'll be calling the complementary solution of the non-homogeneous ODE. So what you have there, that's the complementary solution. From the complementary solution, we can uh, get uh, the two linearly independent solutions. So if we look at this solution here, we look at this part here, excluding the constant, that will be our y1. So we have y1 is equal to sine of 2x. And then for the other part, excluding the constant, the c2 there, it will give us our y2. So we have y2 is equal to cosine of 2x. So we have our y1 and y2 there. The next step now is to obtain the particular solution of the given non-homogeneous ODE. And to do that, I'm going to use the method of variation of parameters. So for the method of variation of parameters, we have to identify our g of x, which is what is on the right hand side there. We are having a sine of 2x. So that sine of 2x is our g of x. So we have our y1, our y2, and our g of x. For the method of variation of parameters, we have our d1 time is equals to the determinant of 0, y2, a g of x divided by a2 of x, y2 prime, divided by the determinant of y1, y2, y1 prime, y2 prime. But we have our values there, our a2, it's a 1, our y1 is sine 2x, our y2 is cosine of 2x, our g of x is sine of 2x. Substitute these highlighted values here, and we would have the determinant of 0, cosine of 2x, sine 2x divided by 1, minus 2 sine of 2x, then divided by the determinant of sine 2x, cosine 2x, 2 cosine 2x minus 2 sine of 2x. But this part here, sine 2x divided by 1, is just gives us sine of 2x. So our expression will simplify to this one here, where we just put the sine of 2x here. So we go on to the next step of evaluating those determinants. So what we are having there, they are just determinants of 2 by 2 matrices. If we have a 2 by 2 matrix, 
A, B, C, D is determinant is given by A, D minus B, C. So using that formula there, we would have that the numerator there will be minus sine 2x cosine 2x. The denominator is minus 2 sine squared 2x minus 2 cosine squared 2x. But if you look at uh, the denominator there, we are having this minus sign is common. So we can factor it out. And when you factor it out, it will then it will cancel out with this one there in the numerator. So that our expression becomes sine of 2x cosine of 2x divided by 2 multiplied by sine squared 2x plus cosine squared of 2x. So that's our V1 prime there. But if we look at the denominator there, what we are having is this part here sine squared 2x plus cosine squared 2x. We have the identity that cosine squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. So this identity, we can use it to have the identity that cosine squared 2x plus sine squared 2x is equal to 1. So that highlighted part there is a 1. So our expression simplifies to sine of 2x cosine of 2x divided by 2. So that's our v1 prime there but if we look at the numerator there the sine of 2x cosine of 2x we know that sine of 2x is equals to 2 sine x cosine x we can use this identity to obtain the identity that sine of 2x cosine of 2x is equals to sine of 4x divided by 2 so the highlighted part there simplifies to sine of 4x divided by 2 so we are having that our V1 prime there is sine of 4x divided by 4. So that's our V1 prime there. But what we are having here on this part, that's a derivative. But what we want is V1. If we have a derivative and we want the function, then we integrate. So in this case, we integrate V1 prime with respect to x to obtain V1. In this case, we do not add the constant of integration. So we have our V1 is equals to the integral of v1 prime with respect to x that will give us the integral of sine of 4x divided by 4 with respect to x and we know that the integral of sine of ax with respect to x is minus cosine of ax divided by a so the result there will be minus cosine of 4x divided by 16. so what we found there that's our v1 we now go on to find v2. But for us to find v2, we need to first find v2 prime, which is given by the determinant of y1, 0, y1 prime, g of x divided by a2 of x, divided by the determinant of y1, y2, y1 prime, y2 prime. We have our a2 here, we have our y1 here, we have our y2 here we have our g of x here so we go on and substitute them here and we'll have the determinant of sine of 2x 0 2 cosine of 2x sine of 2x divided by 1 and divided by the determinant of sine of 2x cosine of 2x 2 cosine of 2x minus 2 sine of 2x but this part here sine of 2x divided by 1 it just simplifies to sine of 2x so our expression will become sine of 2x 0 2 cosine of 2x then sine of 2x the determinant is not changing there so that's the expression that we have and in this case we are having the determinant of 2 by 2 matrices or the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix a b c d the determinant is a d minus b c so our numerator simplifies to sine squared 2x our denominator is minus 2 sine squared 2x minus 2 cosine squared 2x. In the denominator here, I can just factor out the minus 2 there and we'd have sine squared 2x divided by minus 2 multiplied by sine squared 2x plus cosine squared 2x. So that's the expression that we are having now. But earlier, we noted that cosine squared of 2x plus sine squared 2x is equal to 1. So that part there if we put a 1 our expression simplifies to minus sine squared 2x divided by 2 so that's uh, the part that we are having now but if you look at uh, this part here sine squared 2x sine squared 2x 
to simplify that to a form which we can integrate easily because remember we need to integrate to get the v2 this one is a bit difficult to integrate as it is so we need to rewrite it so to rewrite it we know that there is the identity which says sine squared x is equals to 1 minus cosine 2x divided by 2 so using this identity here we can get that sine squared 2x is equals to 1 minus cosine of 4x divided by 2 so if we substitute this into the highlighted part then we'd have minus 1 minus cosine of 4x divided by 4 so and that's the v2 prime so for us to obtain our v2 we have to integrate v2 prime with respect to x to obtain v2 we do not add the constant of integration so we have our v2 is equals to the integral of v2 prime with respect to x which is equals to the integral of minus 1 minus cosine of 4x divided by 4 with respect to x and that integral will be minus x divided by 4 plus sine of 4x divided by 16. So we have our v2 there. This non-homogeneous ODE is uh, the particular solution yp which we denote by y1 v1 plus y2 v2. We substitute the values of y1 v1 y2 v2 we have here so that we have our particular solution is sine of 2x multiplied by minus cosine of 4x divided by 16 plus cosine of 2x multiplied by minus x divided by 4 plus sine of 4x divided by 16. So that's the particular solution that we are having there. I can just go on and multiply throughout by the sine 2x and the cosine 2x here so that our expression becomes minus sine of 2x cosine 4x divided by 16 minus x cosine 2x divided by 4 plus cosine of 2x multiplied by sine of x divided by 16. And this expression will simplify to minus x cosine 2x divided by 4 plus sine of 2x divided by 16. And the simplification to this part here, I looked at it earlier, so I will just include the link to that uh, video in the description below. So we have our particular solution there. So now looking at this non homogeneous ODE, for its general solution, it is given by y is equal to the complementary solution plus the particular solution. So we add the complementary solution and the particular solutions that we have here so that we have the general solution there is y is equal to c1 sine of 2x plus c2 cosine of 2x minus x cosine of 2x divided by 4 plus sine of 2x divided by 16. I can just combine the terms that have the sine x there these ones so that we have y is equal to c1 plus 1 over 16 multiplied by sine of 2x plus c2 cosine of 2x minus x cosine of 2x divided by 4. But this part here c1 plus 1 over 16 it just gives us another constant which we can call c3. So we can rewrite our expression as c3 sine of 2x plus c2 cosine of 2x minus x cosine of 2x divided by 4. So what we are having here that's the general solution of the non-homogeneous ODE that is highlighted at the top there.